day everyone. Well, what have I been doing? Digital FPV systems and um, what, what I've got here, which um, is a fantastic little rig, is I've got effectively a Bifrost platform sitting over here. So this is the Bifrost um, Analog HD is probably what it's, it's an HD system, not quite digital, but sort of digital. That's sitting on the top here. I've got a whole four LZR antennas because the Bifrost has four antennas. And I've got a MyFly Dream Tracker. And um, for those of you who followed the channel, essentially my tracker links with Bluetooth to my Crossfire radio, meaning that I can bypass any of the complicated telemetry protocols for tracking. And magically, these four antennas point at the drone at all times. Now, the question I guess is, why would I go to all the effort of making this? And, um, yeah, let me pop that down. But my, my arm is getting old and can't handle it. So, the, the primary reason I put this tracker together was essentially to kind of just, you know, one of the problems I had with bike frost in the beginning, it worked great. The picture was good. But there was utterly no object penetration. Now, <laughs> the thing is, where I fly, it is a noisy environment. Make no mistakes. You know, you, you simply cannot get too far. There is so much extra RF noise going on around us that despite the fact we're in kind of an open area where we fly, as soon as you get to the edges of that open area, it's, <laughs> signal goes and it doesn't work. And sadly, similar problem with this digital one is that when I had it just rigged up as a ground station and plugged in, I kind of, I'd go a few hundred meters and it would kind of just get a little bit shoddy. Now, I should add, I'm running this under 200 milliwatt on the VTX at the moment, so technically, I guess I should be able to go up to a kilometer without too much problem, and if I could get digital, it would be unbelievable. And, um, well, today I got out, I used the tracker, and I went maybe 600 meters, and the picture was unbelievable. It's good. It's it feels like I'm looking at the HD GoPro display. Now, that's all great. And um, I should hasten to add, what I've also done, I've got the Orcas over here. And with the large screen display, that picture that you end up on the digital bike frost system is fantastic. Um, I've got no doubt this is exactly why Fat Shark have released the new HD2, or the HD02 is um, because the same thing is that to run an HD system, you need a bigger field of view. You need the LCDs, which can do all of that. And, you know, quite simply, the I've got the um, Fat Shark HDOs somewhere around here, right? well, it's in the box somewhere. But um, yeah, essentially, they're just not up to it. The picture quality is not good enough on the HDOs. On these, and I also suspect on the HDO2s, unbelievable utterly unbelievable but um <laughs> there's always a but isn't there the problem i found with this lovely arrangement is essentially it just doesn't do so well with anything sitting between you now with analog even without the tracker just using the goggles with analog the areas that i fly you can kind of fly through them no issue at all there's noise but it's flyable, you know, and this, I would, I would guess this is like a lot of bando type sites people fly. You can get behind objects, trees, scrap buildings without too much problem because you come out the other end fast enough, there's no issue. And um, in the patchy between, there's just a little bit of noise. But um, sadly with bike frost, one of the big reasons I built this whole tracker setup was to see if I could get that punch by having the antenna permanently pointed. <laughs> Still doesn't work. <laughs> It still doesn't work. So um, it's been an exercise in futility. I've, I've tried to break the back of getting a, a good digital system to work. I have achieved a good digital system. It does work, but I cannot expect it to have any object penetration. And I, I, I don't know if I'm surprised or unsurprised by that outcome because it kind of, I know what digital is like. It's yeah, I think ultimately I'm not unsurprised by it, but I was just hoping for more. Um, but that's the way it goes, you know. Um, what I can tell you is it works well, the setup's great. I will post the STLs and things for anyone else who wants to do this. I'll plug them up in Thingiverse a bit later today. So by all means, guys, jump in and do it. 
But for me, the real winner out of all of this experimentation on this were these. These are just unbelievably good. They are just fantastic. I love, absolutely love how these goggles are performing. Yeah. So anyway, here's a little bit of video and you'll kind of see the footage and hear how the signal degrades and unfortunately being digital it is an on-off type signal. So you'll see the flying I did. I wasn't terribly far away with the tracker. I just kind of expected a bit more. But hey, gives you a good idea. Enjoy. Cheers, guys.